so basically, um, I'm trying to check the um, the amperage. You got these, uh, you got these so-called, um, sorry, you got these so-called uh, test lights that are computer safe, um, and you see they have like little circuit birds inside of them, and they got the LEDs and everything, but you really can't activate anything using them. Um, I don't like those because you can't really do what you got to do. Uh, this is just something I got from, uh, show the test light. Um, and I know a lot of you guys say, you know, support your local distributor and this and that. Um, but either way, you know, I mean, some guys hate on me for, they say, uh, support an American guy, support, support your local, uh, distributor or whatever, but, um, So, anyways, no matter where I go, it's going to be made in China. This is better than a Harbor Freight. This is better than a Harbor Freight, don't get me wrong. Um, in all honesty, I could get this for cheaper online. The same exact thing. Um, I'm just trying to be real with you guys. Um, I did it specifically because I want to help out somebody who I feel is working hard uh whether i get it from harbor freight whether i get it from matco whether i get it from snap on it's going to be made in china either way so i don't know how i can please everybody but uh i'd rather get one of these though in all in all honesty though um you can get this online cheaper uh but uh whatever Whatever have you, they're all made in China, whether it's Mac or Snap-on. Um, I want to check the amperage. I want to check the amperage. I got it set right here on amperage, 10 amps. You got to switch this from here, from here to here. This is like the cheapest uh, DVOM you could get. It's free, basically. So, uh. Basically, I'm going to get these two leads. I'm going to hook up negative to negative, positive to positive, and you see it lights. You know, lights good. I want to know how much amp this amperage this is going to carry so that when I'm I'm messing around with the computer stuff, um I know I'm not going to pull too many amps. I would say like uh when you see right here it's going to say, if it says 0.1, that's 100 millivolts. If it says 0.2, it's 200 millivolts. If it's 0.3, it's 300 millivolts. If it's uh, 0.1515, that's 150 millivolts, uh, so on and so forth. So 0.1 is 100, 0.2 is 200 millivolts, 0.3 is 300 millivolts, 0.4 is 400 millivolts. Um, you want to stay less than basically 0.5, basically 0.5. I mean, I'm sorry, I I meant to say milliamps. We're talking about amperage, not volts. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, 0.1 is 100 milliamps. 0.2 is uh, 100 milli. 0.2 is uh, 200 milliamps. 0.3 is 200 milliamps. I just want to see what this test light I got. I, I broke several of my other ones. I just got this one recently. I just want to test it. Obviously, it's working. Um, basically, here's the test lead. Uh, here's the test leads for this right here. These are hooked up. The test leads right here. Let me try to zoom out. Um, this is how I have it hooked up. So I got the, the black right here. Have the black right here hooked up to the black, and I'll just hook it up. It doesn't matter which way you hook it up. I'll just hook it up to here, the black. And then, um, so basically it goes from, from, from this black, and then it goes right here, black, 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 and then it goes to here, and you keep going, you keep going, you keep going, and then you got the light. And then from the light, 
I want to. Actually, what we want to do is... Uh, let me see. We'll have... That one will go there. So the black goes all the way to here. Okay? Now the red right here is connected to here. Okay? It's connected to here. And then basically I'm going to touch. It's just going to complete the circuit using this. This is right in the middle. It's like I just used that test light. So I'm going to touch here to here. And then I'm going to touch this to this. And then the light lights on this. So I got 0.11, which is 110 milliamps. Okay. So basically, it just goes from from here. The electricity flows to here, to here, to here, to here, into here, comes out of here, and then it goes to here and then it goes to here and then it, it measures basically it just is just putting it in series basically um now so that's basically 111 milliamps and here's like another this is an incandescent pretty much the same type of thing light lights with the light right there and we're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna hook the black up to this right here and then uh, this goes so basically I have black from this the black from this goes to the alligator clip on the test light and then the test light right here is gonna go right here and then the positive lead is gonna go over here so it says 0 0.22, so 230 milliamps. So the other one that I have, the smaller light, that carries a lot less amperage. There's a lot less uh, probability that I'm going to uh, damage something with the smaller light. Um, that's just how you test uh, your test light to see how much amp amperage it's going to pull. So I, I would, if I'm testing something on a computer circuit, I'm going to use the, that smaller light bulb. I'm going to use that smaller light. So uh, I hope you, you guys are following me right now. It's just completing a circuit right now. It's coming from right here. You got positive coming right here. Into here, positive's coming out. Then it's going right here. Then it's going all the way down. All the way down, all the way down. And it's coming right here. And then it's going all the way to ground right here. So it's just completing a circuit with the test light in between. And it gives you a, a reading of amperage. So about 110 milliamps and uh, 220 milliamps. So you're going to want to use, if you're testing computer controlled circuits, you're going to want to uh, want to use this. Uh, better than using something that has twice the uh, amperage if it carries twice the amperage then you know it's, it, it has more probability of damaging something you're not going to damage something even with the 220 um amperage but uh anyways so uh that's pretty much how you test the amperage rating on your test light so hope you guys don't hate me too much because i bought a Chinese made test light. <laughs> They're all made in China. Whether you buy it from Snap on or whoever, I guess that makes me a bad guy. But, anyways, um, it's as easy as that, really. Just get a battery and uh, run it in series with uh, with an amp meter, and you could get the the amperage, um, what you're going to be pulling with your test light. All right. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.